The 14th of July sees air operations continue as before throughout Normandy. However, 144 wing that we've been following was disbanded and the three squadrons are moving to other wings and other bases. And that's going to occupy their time all today with their operations continuing on the 15th and 16th as before. Now this reads as quite a shock to the people within the wing that are documenting this in the records. However, as early as the 9th, I've found in other records at the wing and the group level mentions of this plan. So somebody knew this was coming. Probably, at the very least, the wing leadership, Johnson, and those types. And until something like this is certain, it's not necessarily a good idea to keep everybody in the loop. Rumor control can be very important. You don't want the wrong things occupying people's time and attention, especially in situations like this. But the moves do appear to go smoothly, and we'll read through the records and see how they document these, starting with 441 Squadron. Now, 144 Wing was disbanded today. 441 Squadron going to 125 Wing, 442 to 126, and 443 to 127 Wing. All were very sorry to see the wing disbanded. 125 Wing is located at B-11 Aerodrome. We are now with an RAF Wing composed of RAF, RAAF, Poles, Norwegians, and Free French. The aircraft were flown over by the pilots and the ground crew, including this echelon, preceded by a convoy of trucks. And here we can see the location of B-11. And we have seen ALG B-11 before in a screenshot that came out uh, several months ago. And in fact, I guess I showed this one at the close of yesterday's video, didn't I? There's B-11 and we have B-8 up there to the top left at Summerview. And this is right on the coast. This would probably be quite a view, or actually it will be quite a view once we start to fly out of here right there on the coast with a cliff face right by the airfield. And a lot of the photos that I've shown so far, and I'll scroll some by right here, have actually been from B-11. I've just mixed in any photos of Spitfire operations that apply to the wing, no matter where they were, as I've gone, just to illustrate whatever point it is that I'm making or to show the operations. So we've seen B-11 before. So let me go ahead and move on to 442 and see what they do. And it's a bright day, everyone busy packing. The three squadrons and wing headquarters heading for four destinations. From after the noon mill till 1530, the squadron and echelon moved off to B4 landing strip. And that's the home of the 126 wing at Benny sur Mer, by Spitfire, Oscar, Jeep, truck, motorcycle, and three on horseback. And that's probably Robillard and company out there on horseback. We've heard mention of them doing this before. Flying Officer Miller driving a jeep was 100 yards from a German plane strafing the road. The new field is well established with more conveniences, showers, better messing, etc. The dispersal is further from the mess and seems to be dustier. It was a noisy night and delayed action landmines were dropped by parachute in the near vicinity. And we'll go to 443. Weather cloudy and warmer. AOC of 83 group, and that would be Air Vice Marshal Broadhurst who I'll scrounge around and insert a photo of here. Visited 144 wing this morning and spoke to headquarters personnel, advising them of the necessity for breaking the wing up. Squadron moved to B-2 airfield this afternoon to join 127 wing. Number 6443 servicing echelon has also moved with us as a complete unit and will look after the servicing of our aircraft. All personnel, equipment, and the aircraft moved very quickly and without incident. Squadron was released from operations during the day, which greatly facilitated the moving. And we've seen ALG B-2 come up several times before, usually as an alternate landing strip in case of weather. We've seen it mentioned as a staging point for C-47 operations going back and forth between England and the continent. Johnny Johnson is coming to this location to take over 127 wing uh, with 443 squadron in tow. And just like with B-11, a lot of the photographs that I've been showing throughout this entire series do come from B-2, specifically these Johnny Johnson photos showing him and his Labrador named Sally. And as with the others, I can't find any overhead imagery, but this is actually a pretty good oblique view showing the layout of the airfield. And without the photo, we can see the location right there in the field. And this, just like all the other airfields in Normandy, was extremely dusty. In fact, whenever I needed to illustrate a point about dust, it was usually a photo from B2 that I used. And this was practically within walking distance from ALG B3, which is just only a couple of miles down the road. So this would have been a relatively easy simple matter to bring personnel and equipment over. So the entire move went extremely well as far as I could tell and they're right back in the rotation either on the next day or the day after that. And they need to be because we have Operation Goodwood. It's another British attempt to break out from Con coming up with a big push to the south by the British that have been over here in this pocket east of the Orne since D-Day and then a push 
across from the Canadians to try to encircle the remaining defenders of Caen and then to break out down towards Falaise. But we'll look at that coming up. I believe this is going to start on the 16th or 17th. And I'll just close out the day with Johnny Johnson's description of his departure from B3 and arrival at B2. So I was taking my own Spitfire to 127 wing and when I climbed into the cockpit a crowd gathered around me to wish me Godspeed. I was deeply touched by this spontaneous demonstration from my Canadian friends. Slowly I taxied onto the runway, opened the throttle, and climbed above the haze into a clear sky. For once I was alone. After a slow turn, I put the Spitfire into an easy dive across the airfield and could see the white blur of their faces when I passed a few feet above their heads. Happy, aggressive Canadian wing. I saluted you with an upward roll. And we'll pick up again tomorrow with Operations on the 15th. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.